In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a ratio problem using tape diagrams. So first I'm just going to read uh, number three to you. I'm just going to read through the problem. It says, Paige wanted to bake cookies for her teachers at school. She decided to make both sugar and chocolate chip cookies. For every five chocolate chip cookies, Paige baked two sugar cookies. If Paige baked 25 chocolate chip cookies, how many sugar cookies did she bake? So again, that's a lot of information that it gives you in that problem. But I do know that I heard a ratio, just by the words for every. So I know what's being compared is chocolate chip, five chocolate chip cookies to two sugar cookies. So first thing I'm going to do is write my ratio. I have five to two. And this time, since it's tape diagrams, it needs to be written differently. So we know that ratios can be also written as a fraction. So I'm going to do five over two. And I'm also going to label, just like I did in my chart that I did in the previous video. So it says here that it's five chocolate chip cookies. So I'm going to put C for chocolate chip cookies. And it says two sugar cookies, so I'm going to put S next to the two for sugar cookies. Now, when you do your tape diagrams, it requires you to draw boxes. And you can do your boxes different ways. So sometimes you can draw your box um, separately. So I'm going to show you how to do it separately. And then I'm also going to show you how you can do your boxes on this side um, connected. So since my first part of my ratio is five, I'm just going to draw five boxes. Three, four, five. Now my bottom, the second part of my ratio is a two. So lining up with the boxes on top, I'm just going to do two boxes separate. Now if you wanted to do your boxes connected, I'm gonna show you right here. All you have to do is do a long rectangle and split it up. One, two, three, four, five. And then for two, you can connect them underneath and just go one, two. So either way is okay. Um, sometimes it's a little more difficult to do it this way. So if you want to just draw your boxes out separate, that's fine also. All right, so going back to the problem, I have my ratio, my labels, and now my tape diagram boxes. Now it says right here that Paige baked 25 chocolate chip cookies. So I'm not going to put the 25 with the S because that stands for sugar and it tells me chocolate chip. So I'm actually going to put my 25 with my chocolate chip. Now I need to think, the point of tape diagrams is to fill your boxes. So I want to say 5 times what is going to give me 25 that I can fill my boxes in with. So five times something will give me 25. I know that that's gonna be a five. So in every box, I'm going to put a five. And now I can see if I counted these up, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, that would give me my 25 chocolate chip cookies. Now since I put five in these boxes, I'm also gonna put a five in this box and this box. And now to get my amount of sugar cookies, all I have to do is five is two times five, which gives me 10. And then if I count it to check five, 10, there's the amount of sugar cookies. So this diagram is just showing that for every five chocolate chip, there's two sugar. Same thing over here for every 25, there's 10 sugar. So my question asks, how many sugar cookies did she bake? Now, all I have to do is look at my diagram and here's the S row for sugar. There's my answer, 10 sugar cookies. And if you were to use these boxes that are connected, it would be the same exact thing. You would have your fives in all the boxes. It's just that there, it's, it's formatted different. It's just connected. The boxes are all connected over there. So in this video, I showed you how to solve a ratio problem using tape diagrams.